Hi there, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to create for each loop in Perl. So first thing, make sure that you have Perl installed on your machine. Depending on your operating system, the method for installation will vary. Now you can open a simple text editor or IDE. In my case, I'm using Visual Studio Code and I have created this sample.pl file. Okay. Now here I am going to create my first list. So in order to create a list, first thing you would do is use at the rate symbol and then let's say a list and here I am going to make it a list of numbers. So something like 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. 100 and 120 okay now end it with semicolons and the next thing is i want to use for each loop to iterate through all these numbers within my list now we make use of for each keyword then you use dollar symbol and then let's say a variable named a so you create variable a with dollar a symbol now inside this bracket you make use of at the rate list and then curly brackets and inside this simply use print and then within double quotes value of a and then dollar a then slash in now here we make use of this semicolon to end the statement now what will happen is this for each loop will iterate through individual numbers and print them out for us and after the end of this it will simply exit out of loop so whenever you want to go through data structure where you have a list of items to iterate through you can make use of for each loop so here our case is with list and we are iterating through a list of items so we are using for each loop for that okay now let me open terminal and here i'm going to call for pearl then space sample.pl okay can also use your windows command prompt if you want to execute through that but for visual studio code you already have access to terminal through view and then integrated terminal okay so i'm making use of that now here simply hit enter and see the output and as you can see it will iterate through all these numbers within the list starting with 2, 20, 40, 60, 80, up to 120. And it will exit out of loop and return the prompt. So this was a simple demonstration of how to use for each loop in Perl programming language.